it's Rebecca again. I'm here on the farm with my dad. I want to introduce my dad. I haven't talked about him a lot because I know more talk about mom and mom stuff, but I just want to share. She's a smart one. <laughs> she, well, she was home a lot more than dad was because dad was working, getting money to take care of all of us as kids. Um, but anyways, I want to introduce you to him Thank and, you. and say happy Father's Day. Not Father's Day yet. It will be soon. We got another two months. <laughs> That's all I'm going to get. That's all you get for Father's Day. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, my father's really funny. And and I get my sense of humor, I think, from him. Uh, but I just wanted to say I'm grateful for my dad. Well, thank you. And for the many things he's taught me, hard work. He's helped me when I've been frustrated to push through that and still be frustrated but see I can do things. Uh, he's taught me especially to love people and be friendly and uh, I That's think important. I think my love for people and their interest in their stories and their just their issues in life and being able to listen and be with them has come a lot from my dad and Thank you. Uh, I remember my my grandma honey that's his mom my mom and she would every Sunday say she'd feed the widows and orphans. And she always was collecting people up to take care of them. Yep, they're single, getting them married. <laughs> okay, she was all around <laughs> awesome. She, yeah, she was it. Uh, but I think my dad can do anything he puts his mind to. Whether it's woodworking, whether it is... I bet he could even crochet if he wanted to. Do you think he could? Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to wear it. <laughs> uh, but I've just been amazed all these years. All the kids, uh, eight kids. How many grandkids are we now? 37. 37 grandkids and still always fun. One of the memories that I have with my children with him is that it, the, all the kids loved going and sitting on Papa's lap. And one of my other siblings asked, why do they love to go sit on Papa's lap? And I, I found out because Papa hid treats in his pocket and whenever the, kids. the grandkids came over he would give them treats and they would eat them and crawl on his lap because they loved the treats so he found ways to do that but so it really wasn't papa it was the treats <laughs> well papa is really awesome though he's a great person to get to know and talk with a lot of wisdom in there and a lot of humility old age a lot of old age. Senility? I'm not sure yeah, what else. Yeah, that, that one too. <laughs> Senility, that's the one. <laughs> Anyways, um, so and you've been married how many years? Been married 52. 52 years. Do you have any words of wisdom to stick with a woman that long? Make sure you pick the right one to begin with. <laughs> how do you know you have the right one? After you've been married 52 years, you'll know. Okay, so the magic number is 52. Everybody out there, if you get married and stay married, same woman, 52 years, you'll know at that point magic, right? It makes a huge difference to pick the right one to begin with. <laughs> and then when it doesn't work, you still stick with it and it works out. Oh, okay. So stick with it. A lot of hard work. And a lot of hard work and patience. And try, try again. And again. What about tips to dads about being a good dad? you got to love your kids. and Let them be with you when you do your work. It's nice if you can take your kids to work with you. I used to take you kids to make rounds with me, and I think it's nice to be able to share work and people at work appreciate the kids. They appreciate knowing who your kids are, and they take care of you. I think that's one of one of my favorite memories um, is Dad would take us to work, and then we get to go into the little cafeteria and get snacks. And, <laughs> and selfish me, I loved, because I was one of eight kids, I loved the chance to have Dad all alone in the car and I could talk to him and he talked to me. And it was just fun to hang out for hours that I didn't have to share him with any other sibling. It was just me and my dad. And he loved me the most. You know. um, well, right? sometimes. Uh, <laughs> am I your favorite daughter? Sometimes. Oh, uh, dang it. I'm trying to get him to admit to that. But anyways. Well, right now. Okay. Right now. Right now. Right this minute. Right am I your favorite? You, right now you have it. Okay. I'm his favorite daughter right this minute. Um, but I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed just that simplicity. It wasn't what he bought me. It wasn't um, what he gave me. It was the fact that dad spent time with me and invited me to be a part of his life and to share with him. 
Um, and I really didn't love that. Well, I loved having my kids go with me. I think that's a great thing to be able to share. In today's society, we don't share much anymore where we can take our kids to work with us because somehow that doesn't work. So that was great. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Oh, and yeah. lasting memories, many years. But I remember that. It's been a long time. It was. Yeah. If he asked me today, will you go to work with me? I would say, yes, take me. But I don't work. So. Yeah. Well, now take me to work is to your word woodworking we're, shop. We're, we'll work and clean up trees. Yeah. Now take me to work means teach me how to change the plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> teach me how to fix the car, Dad. You know, all those things. We'll do that, something. That we'll find something fun to we'll do. We'll be productive. So I just want to give a shout out to all the great men that are in people's lives and how they do little things, but it makes big differences. Just spending time and caring about people and especially big shout out to my dad. Well, thank uh, you. I don't think we do enough thank yous, but I appreciate his prayers for me um, and his, his faith and just, you know, that's means a lot to me to know he's solid and I know I can turn to him and when I have those moments that he's he's praying for me regardless of what I choose to do in life that it just means a lot. I'm on your side. Yes, thank goodness. So just want to say happy Father's Day to all the great guys out there. I expect there. it later when it is Father's Day. <laughs>